What's up guys, this is the Galaxy's Greatest on YouTube. I'm here for my week 11 picks of the NFL season. So let's get straight into it. Last week I went 6-8. and eight. Ooh, terrible. I decided to do all my forfeits at the end of the season, so there's going to be a big video for that. So if you're wondering why I'm not doing the forfeit, that's why. So here we go, let's get straight into week 11. Starting off New Orleans at Carolina. I'm going to take Carolina for the upset here. Not much of a reasoning. Like, New Orleans is a smart choice. But, you know, I feel like this is going to be the one game Carolina sneaks it in. So, I'm going to take Carolina. Next, we have Buffalo at Cincinnati. And I will take the Buffalo Bills on the road to get the win coming off of their bye week over the Bengals. Who aren't really that good this season. It's kind of weird. We move on to the Steelers at the Browns. And I really do not want to pick the Steelers. Because... They have done nothing but disappoint me as a Steelers fan this season. Well, not this whole season, but the last four games. They dropped when they could have won at least two of them. At least two. But it is what it is. I have to pick the Steelers here just because it's way too risky to pick the Browns this season. Way too risky. If they were going against any other team, I'd probably pick against the Steelers. But considering it's against the Browns... I think I have to pick the Steelers. So, anyway, I talked about that game long enough. Let's move on. We have Baltimore at Dallas. And Dallas is just too good. I'm, With the exception of one or two games, I'm probably going to have to pick Dallas the rest of the way this season. So, sorry, Baltimore. I got to pick Dallas here. They're just too good. Jacksonville at Detroit. There's a chance for an upset here, but uh, I'm not taking it. I like Detroit. They're playing good football. Tennessee at Indianapolis, uh, it's been a while since Tennessee has beaten Indy, especially at Indy, but I like it here. I'm going to take Tennessee for the upset at Indy. Next, we have Tampa Bay at Kansas City, and I got to take Kansas City. It's in Arrowhead. Definitely got to take the Chiefs here. Arizona at Minnesota, tough game for me to pick, but I'm actually going to go with the Minnesota Vikings for the upset here. You know... Both teams are just, you know, had pretty pretty high expectations early in the season. Then Minnesota's expectations lowered as Bridgewater got injured. Then they got raised when they went 5-0. and And now they've been lowered now that they're on a four-game losing streak. So, I don't... And as for Arizona, the whole season for them has just been disappointing. They're just not the same Arizona team. And I think coming into this game, I think how bad Arizona has been this season is going to show, and I think Minnesota will be able to pull this game out. I mean, Arizona, they barely beat the 49ers, and they are debatably the worst team in the league right now. So I, I have to go with the Vikings here. I just have to. Chicago at New York Giants. Pff, this is probably lock of the week. I'm going to take the Giants. Next, we have Miami at L.A. There's a chance for L.A. to get the upset with Jared Goff's first start, but uh, I Miami is just hot right now. Four games in a row. They have won, and I say they will make it five here. We move on to New England at San Fran. You know what? This is probably lock of the week. New England, without a doubt, even without Gronk, they're still going to win by double digits. Philly at Seattle. You know, I know Philly, Philly is just not the same team on the road than they are at home. Now, I think they'll actually make this a little closer, but uh, I still like Seattle to win this game. So give me the Seahawks. Green Bay at Washington, and I, I'm i going to go with the Redskins at home. You know, Green Bay is just not the same Green Bay team, and especially the way they played last week. I, I think I'm done considering them a playoff team. So give me... The Washington Redskins over the Green Bay Packers. And then finally, Monday night, in Mexico City, the Texans will take on the Raiders. And I like the Raiders. Raiders are just playing good football. They're coming off the bye. And Houston is just... Uh, they're 6-3, and three, but they are a fluky 6-3. and three. Give me the Oakland Raiders. Those are my picks for the week. Sorry if this video was kind of rushed. I kind of am in a rush. So, let's go over that. I have Carolina over New Orleans, Buffalo over Cincinnati, Pittsburgh over Cleveland, Dallas over Baltimore, Detroit over Jacksonville, Tennessee over Indianapolis, Kansas City over Tampa Bay, Minnesota over Arizona, New York Giants over Chicago Bears, the Miami Dolphins over the LA Rams, New England Patriots over the San Francisco 49ers, 
the Seattle Seahawks over the Philadelphia Eagles, the Washington Redskins over the Green Bay Packers, and the Oakland Raiders over the Houston Texans. The bye weeks this week are the Atlanta Falcons, New York Jets, San Diego Chargers, and Denver Broncos. So thank you for sticking with me. So I am currently 85, 60, and 2. My goal this week is to get at least 8 and 6 to move that record up. And of course, you know, there's a forfeit if I go under 500 this week. The forfeit will be eating uh, mud. Yeah, eating mud. We'll go with that. So thank you guys for watching and take it easy. Peace.